Hello YouTube, this is The Bucket coming at you today with my Astra A100 Inox. This is a steel frame, steel slide, steel barrel gun made in the Espana. It's a 7.5 inches in length. It's got a 4 inch barrel, a 5.6 inch height, 1.4 inch in the width, and it is 34 ounces due to all that good, good, good Spanish steel. So let's talk a little bit about the Astra company. Astra was founded in 1911, and as with so many Spanish pistols or Spanish manufacturers of firearms, they really owe their history to the Ruby pistol that um, they made for the French military in World War I. When the war ended, uh, all of the Spanish manufacturers had to kind of decide what they were going to do um, post-war because they couldn't make rubies anymore they made millions of those things for the french and uh they the spain the star company really focused on 1911 some with the llama company really uh, wanted to go with guns that were really you know fought after the 1911 Astra went a little different direction. They ended up working on a lot of blowback pistols. They actually made the A900, which is a C96 broom handle Mauser clone that they ended up selling a lot to China. The Chinese really loved those pistols. And uh, that's really where they focused. And during World War II, they sold some uh, different 32, 380, and 9mm pistols to the German military. A lot of them got blocked at the French border, and that's a really, really interesting history. I really hope to get one of those at some point. After World War II, they did a lot of different things. They, they made the Constable, which is a PPK clone. They actually were contracted by the Colt Company to make a 25 pistol, the Colt Cub. And those are actually, they, they say Colt on them, but they're actually made by Astra. After a while, though, they decided they really wanted to get into some military and police contracts. And that's really where these series of pistols come about. So the A80 looks a lot like this. It's really a SIG P228 clone, um, in, but they had a heel release. They then came out with the A90, which had a safety that was mounted to the slide. And most people realized that with a decocker, that really wasn't necessary. And then they came out with the last pistol in this series, the A100, like you see here today. Now, they do have some differences. For instance, a SIG will end up have a lug in the, milled into the slide. The Astra actually has their... Um, lugs more like a oh, high power uh, it, where the lug is actually right there at the top and milled into the top of the slide you'll also see that there's one other difference uh they put the d they put the um disassembly lever on the other side of the gun so that's that's a little different as well this is the Inox version. Um, I will tell you that this is really, really slick and there's no texturing on the front or the back strap. When I took this to the range today, you know, you look at the forums and you look at, you know, things that are written about Astra and a lot of different Spanish pistols and they, they kind of have a, a really bad reputation. And when I took it out today, I was impressed. This thing shot awesome. The sights were uh, tall and really easy to pick up. I was ringing steel at 20, 25 yards. I did have one light primer strike, but that may still have been holdover from the bad ammo that I had before because this thing ran great. The, the brass was kicking out really, really well. Like I said, I was just hitting everything that I was shooting at. In all my haste of talking about this wonderful pistol, I forgot to talk to you about some specifics about how I shot this gun today. When I took it to the range, I ended up shooting quite the tight little group. That is one, two, three, four, five shots all in probably an inch grouping. This was super, super accurate. Again, like I said, the sights were easy to pick up on and it was super, super accurate. So I wanted to be able to show that to you guys and how proud I was of how good this gun shoots. And I really thought that this really, really smooth uh, front and back strap would be a problem. And it wasn't. It, it held up real well in my hand. I was not having a problem. It was holding really good and tight. 
The decocker works really, really well. And, you know, if you look at it, this, I mean, this really was put together and constructed really well. And it's pretty stylish, too. I really enjoyed it. I, I really thought that, you know, I'm a SIG guy. I like the SIG 200 series of pistols, and I really thought... And this clone just isn't going to be for me. And it really, really was pretty sharp. A couple of downsides to it. The grips are not quite the same as a 200 series. So you'd have to buy specific grips for that. The mags, um, they are not interchangeable with the 200 series of pistol either. So if you pick one of these up, hopefully you'll get a couple of mags with it. And just realize you're probably going to pay a little extra for those mags. So, um, but I really, if any, if... If I, if anybody asked me, they saw one of these at a gun show, at a pawn shop, and said, what do you think about it? I'd say pick it up. I mean, it's got the, the regular American-style mag release, which, you know, is easy to get to. Uh, the, the construction seems top-notch. And, you know, if you're getting it at a, at a discounted rate to a 226, a 229, or a 228, you know, you're going to really enjoy your pistol. It's really pretty sharp. So I want to thank everybody for uh, supporting the channel. All the likes, the subscriptions, the um, shares are really, really appreciated. And as always, you stay classy, YouTube. Little baby bucket, do you want to live in California? No. Why? Because I'm not a compliment.